we've all heard the phrase, fake it till you make it. And, and I think that's both terrible advice and amazing advice. And here's how I would break it down. So if it's lying about your accomplishments and pretending like you're something that you're not, pretending like you've done something you've not, and like lying about your shit, right? Like the classic thing is at some of these masterminds and conferences and events that I go to, there'll be someone who will like rent this massive luxury yacht from someone for the day, right? And then we'll all go, so typically like this massive boat just goes out in San Diego Bay and just makes these like rounds in the bay. And that's it. it, never goes out to open sea or anything like that. It just goes round and round and round and then it docks again at the end of the day. And you rent it for maybe 20,000 and then you invite a bunch of people to pay $500 each to join for the day and then you make a little bit of profit and everybody gets to hang out on this boat and there's some food and whatnot, and, you know, drinks because they all drank and that's it. But most of the people in this boat is going around with their phones being like, yeah, I'm just hanging out here on my yacht with my friends because I'm super rich and you know, I'll teach you how to be rich and all that stuff. Like That kind of fake until you make it, fuck that shit, all right? Don't do that. Stay away from that shit. Nobody buys it other than losers. Those are not the people that you want to work with, no. But what is good, the kind of, of fake it till you make it that is great is if you have issues with self-worth. If you feel like you're not good enough, if you feel like you're somehow flawed or broken or who are you to or kind of like playing small and you're like, ah, I'm not sure. Like these people are amazing, but I'm not like so good. Those kinds of self-worth issues that you want to fake it till you make it, right? Just believe in yourself like you are a young Elon Musk, right? Yeah, today he's the richest man in the world, like multi-billionaire and all that shit. But there was a time like 20 years ago, 30 years ago, when he wasn't anything, but he had that belief in himself. He had that, that air of like going places. I have no idea how he was back then, honestly. But you get what I'm saying is like, if you saw yourself as that person that you dream of becoming, that you want to become with the accomplishments and everything else, how does that person feel about themselves? What is that person's self-worth? self-talk, belief in themselves, right? That you want to fake now. And when I say fake, I mean that you want to shut those voices down that says, well, I'm nothing and I haven't created and who am I to be, you know, all that stuff, right? Those voices you want to shut down. And yeah, it's true. You haven't built that shit yet, but that doesn't mean that you're not worthy. It doesn't mean that you're less than, right? You're not less than anybody else just because they have more money right? Who cares? It's paper, right? It's just money. Who gives a fuck? That has nothing to do with your inherent worth as a human being. Nothing whatsoever. So start acting with that level of worth and respect for yourself that you really deserve. That you want to fake until it becomes real for you. Because that's a practice. It's a habit of you leaning into the worth of who you really are. Because the other shit is actually fake. You playing small, that's actually fake. You thinking that you're not worthy is actually fake. You thinking you're not good enough or smart enough or rich enough or successful enough or pretty enough or thin enough or thick enough or muscular enough, like whatever it is, all that shit is fucking fake because that has nothing to do with who you are in your essence, at your core, at a soul level. So that shit is fake. And if it right now feels more real than the other shit, then you want to fake feeling the real shit until it becomes natural, until it becomes habitual for you.